everyone. One of the activities that you can try to do today is helping your family sort and do your laundry. So I want you to take a minute and think, why do we need to do the laundry? I know I do my laundry at home when I'm running out of clean clothes to wear and I need to clean the ones that I already wore and got dirty the other days. So how does your family clean your clothes? Do you take it to a laundromat and use all of the machines that they have there? Do you have a washer and dryer at your house? Do you know how people used to clean their clothes before they had washing and drying machines? One way that they did it was they used washboards. If you pay attention to the illustrations in the book I'm going to read you, you'll see what a washboard looks like. When you use a washboard, you have to get soap and water and you rub your clothes along the bumps on the washboard to get all of the dirt out. And then you rinse them and hang them up to dry. When you look at the illustrations of this book, you'll also notice that this character, Mrs. McNosh, she hangs up a lot of things after she washes them, including some really silly items. So see if you can notice what are some normal laundry types of things that she cleans and hangs up and what are a little bit of some silly items that she includes. The title of this book is called Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash. This is by Sarah Weeks, and the pictures are by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Mrs. McNosh hangs up her wash. Each Monday at dawn, Miss Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. So look, here's the barrel where she, where she puts the water and soap and then this is the washboard that she's going to rub her clothes against to get all the dirt out. It takes her all morning and when the sun's high, she hangs what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. So here's the clothesline. It's like a string and then she uses clips to hang everything up so they can dry in the nice warm sun and the breeze. She hangs up the dresses, she hangs up the shirts, she hangs up the underwear, nightgowns, and skirts. She hangs up the stockings, she hangs up the shoes, she wrings out the paper and hangs up the news. She hangs up the dog and his dish and his bone. She gets a wrong number and hangs up the phone. Uh oh, she's getting very silly. Are these things that you would wash when you wash your clothes? I've never washed those. She hangs up a hat and an old wedding gown and two sleepy bats which she hangs upside down. She hangs up a lamp and a large Christmas wreath and Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. Do you know what removable means? It means he can take them out. So he has removable teeth and she washed and hung those. She hangs up a kite by the tip of its tail. The postman arrives and she hangs up the mail. She hangs till she's hung every last thing in sight, including the turkey she's roasting that night. Each Monday by dusk, Miss Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. She takes off her apron and lets down her hair, then hangs herself up in a comfortable chair. The end. So if you have time today, I hope that you will try to help your family do a little bit of the laundry at your house, or if it's not the day that you're doing laundry, I hope the next time You'll try to help them and you can learn all about sorting laundry and what you need when you're trying to clean your clothes. And we can talk about that some more as a class after you've tried it out. I hope you all have a great day and we will see you soon.